600 billion dollars. So let me tell you why I care about this number. I care because this is the amount that is spent every year on social programs in developing countries. I also care because this is a big number and we can be, should be impacting billions of lives with this number. That's a great idea. But what we actually find in the sector today is that we're not sure how much impact it's making. Um, and that's a real shame. So how is that even possible? So one th reason for this is that measuring impact is pretty hard, although it's very, very critical. So we see a lot of organizations that don't measure impact well or at all. And in fact, if you look at information in the wrong way, it can lead you to the wrong conclusions. So a quick example here. A program is distributing malaria bed nets in rural Ghana, so to save people from, bed from malaria. Now, when they started their program, they saw 10% bed net usage. And at the end of the program, they saw 50%. Now, that's a great trajectory. It's a great slope. And we should write home about that, print out a glossy report, and probably fund them some more. Right? That's an obvious conclusion. But we have to stop, think critically, zoom out a bit, and look at the region and also the rest of the country and see just exactly what is this data telling us. What we find is that the rest of the area was going through a similar type of uh, growth in bed net usage. And so to attribute that to this particular program would be flawed and we would be wasting some money. So the good news is there are lots of very powerful, very rigorous tools that we can use to measure impact. But you might say, ah, I've heard these are pretty expensive, they're cumbersome, and don't they take a lot of time? Well, that's where ID Insight, my organization, comes in to help. What we do is we come alongside decision makers in the social sector, and we help them think about their most important impact questions so that they can make real decisions from those. And we take those tools, we harness them, and what we do is then create deliverable activities that, and findings and conclusions that they can actually look at in real time with decisions they have to make. One of these tools that we use you may have heard of, the randomized control trial. It comes from medicine, and it's how we know that this pill here is good for you. Let me explain how we can learn that. So you can take 100 people, and you randomly choose half of them to receive this pill, and half of them to receive a different pill. And because it was randomly selected, because the groups were the same to start with, any difference in outcomes can be attributed to that pill so that you know it's a good idea and it works. Now, there are a lot of applications of the social sector, too. So let me bring it to life in an example. In Cambodia, there's an organization called IDE that created a low-cost sanitary latrine to tackle this challenge that many Cambodians do not have access to adequate sanitation. So they put together a marketing plan, and they sold a good number of latrines. But they didn't stop there. They asked, how can we have even more impact? And so lots of innovative organizations would think this. Um, you know, what can we do that's more? So some of the ideas that we came up with them was, one, we could lower the price and see if that sold more latrines. Two, we could target sales around when they have more money on hand. And three, what if we offered loans so that people who are cash constrained could also buy these latrines? Now, I want to pause here. This is a very important point. The organization didn't just say, these are great ideas, let's do them, and let's uh, see if we can sell more latrines. They wanted to know for sure what the impact was and then make a decision based on numbers they could hang their hat on. So ID Insight came in, and what we did was design a series of quick experiments that was able to shed light directly on these questions. We saw that idea one and two were not really that impactful and didn't actually yield the results they wanted. But idea three, that one had some legs. And let me show you how we learned. We took a sample of villages in Cambodia, and they received the status quo marketing for the latrine. But then we randomly selected half of those villages to also receive that offer of the loan. Now, what we found was quite striking. In the villages that just received the regular status quo marketing, 12% of households bought latrines, which is okay. But when we offered a loan, those villages shot up to 50%. So that's four times the impact. And because we used these powerful tools, we knew that um, the, the 
attributable, the, the cause really came from the loans themselves. So there are opportunities like this all around us, and we have to look for them. ID Insights working across many sectors all over the world with NGOs, governments, and foundations to make better decisions. So what we know is that measuring impact is a challenge, but it's also critical, and billions of lives depend upon it. So let's insist on making better decisions for a better world. Thank you. Thank you very much.